them to Media Center this morning, you are going to be creating a PowerPoint about Jonathan Rand, <clears throat> the author that came to visit yesterday. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go into your 20 student. You're going to go to this week and right in this week, there's a link for Jonathan Rand. You're just going to drag it to your desktop. That way you just have it there so that you have um, all the websites that you're going to use. So basically, I'll just show you the websites really quick. There's a video how-to here, but that's just for regular PowerPoint. It still kind of applies to you, so if you get like you're on the struggle bus, you can watch that. But there are two links at the bottom here. There's a meet the author, so if you click on it, it'll take you to his website. If something happens and you can't get to the website, you can do a command R, like a command Q, it'll refresh the screen. So there's a bunch of facts about him. Okay, so you can leave this link up. But then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your 365 account. So if I am Mallory, I'm going to log into your 365 account. And today when you get in, you are actually going to create a PowerPoint document on Jonathan Rand. So you've used PowerPoint in the past, probably not too much, but um, you're going to click on PowerPoint and you are going to create a new Actually, you can do a new blank presentation, or you can click more themes, and it'll give you all different choices of what kind of background you might want. So I could go through here, and let's say I want this one. I can click on it, and PowerPoint's going to set up online my power, our office is going to set up my PowerPoint. So once everything gets set up, you will be able to work on your PowerPoint. You are going to need a title page. And then you're going to need three facts and then a question. So this will be my title page. So I'm going to say, who is Jonathan Rand? Hopefully I type everything right. Oops. And this is going to be by Mrs. Conley. Now, if you don't like the writing, you can highlight the writing. Just like we do regularly, you can change the color. You can go in here and change... The way you want the letters to look, maybe you want it to look a different way, that is fine. So to get a new slide, you are going to click on new slide. It's going to ask you what kind of slide you want. You probably want title and content. So I'm going to add a slide. Okay, you're going to have three fact slides. So you might just want to add two slides, three slides. So you have all your slides here. And then your fourth slide is going to be like a question you would ask, okay? <clears throat> now, when you get these slides up, it's going to offer you a place to click the title. And this is where you can click typing and you can click text. This is going to offer you some pictures and things, but we're not going to put pictures in today. The only thing that you're going to do is type your title, type your fact. Okay, so... Maybe I can say one fact about Rand, okay? Now, I need to find a fact about him. So up here, I have my sites up. I'm going to click on that Meet the Author, and let's see if I can find a fact about him. Um, let's see. Let's see. How do you get your ideas? It says, I let's see. Sometimes while I'm reading a book, I'll get an idea for a story that had to do nothing with the book I'm reading. So... Maybe I would say, um, <clears throat> sometimes he gets facts or gets ideas when he is reading other stories, okay? So maybe that could be a fact, okay? Now I'm going to go to this next page, and, <clears throat> and I can maybe say, um, Rand's childhood, okay? But maybe for this one, as I'm typing it, oops. Maybe I go back into his facts, and let's see. It says he was born in 1964 in Pontiac, Michigan. Then he grew up in Waterford. Uh, he lived for a so, little bit of time in Holton Lake and Petoskey. So he's been all over the place. So I could say uh, he was born in Pontiac, Michigan in 1964. He lived in Waterford, Houghton Lake. Petoskey, 
and Petoskey to name a few places, okay? So maybe that's what I want to write. Come up with something that's not my idea, okay? <clears throat> Again, things are going to underline because the computer doesn't understand the spelling of those places because they're places, so don't worry about that. But maybe I start looking at my slides and I'm like, I don't want fact here, I want his childhood here. I can just click my slide and see how it becomes red and move it up. Move it up where you want it. If there's a slide I don't want, maybe I don't want this question one, I can click it, delete it, it goes away. And again, you can go in, and if I like one fact about him, maybe I want to change my font and my size to a different size, and maybe I want to highlight it or something. You can change the way your text looks. The other thing you're going to want to do, though, <clears throat> is, whoops, let me get back there. Where did my, just lost it, I was too busy clicking. So one thing you do want to do when you're in your PowerPoint is you're going to want to save, you aren't going to want to name it. Right now I just have it named as presentation, but remember I showed you with the documents last week that when it comes up up here, you can always call it you can name it up here when it decides it's going to load up. So that's the basic of what you're doing today. Um, I know this is running a little bit slow. I'm doing it after lunch to show it to you guys. So I am having a couple issues. Keep in mind for the websites that that command R will refresh your screen. <clears throat> Let's see if this pops back up for me and we can save it. Yeah, this guy's moving slow for me today. But you, you get the gist. I mean, we, we worked on a document last week. I kind of showed it to you. This is your time to kind of play around, okay? Oh, here we go. So we've got presentation. If I click in there, I can call it Rand. So you can rename it if you want to, and then you have it, and it's there. So good luck. Uh, try your best. Again, this is just a trial and error. We're not sharing our documents with anybody. We're just trying this on our own to see what it's like working in an online environment. And good luck. I hope you enjoy it today. Have a great day.